heard was good with y'all niggas, man. I'm back with another video. And as y'all can see, today we in FL Studio with it. Um, I'm finna teach y'all niggas how to make a Cali A Detroit type beat. You feel what I'm saying? Shout out my nigga Draco the Ruler. Um, the reason I say Cali A Detroit, cause to me, I don't feel like you could um, put it in the exact place on a scale. You feel what I'm saying? It got elements of Cali in there, and then we got elements of Detroit in there too. Um, I'm probably finna just title the video Draco the Ruler type beat. You feel what I'm saying? Tutorial in FL Studio, something crazy like that. But this beat right here finna be modeled a little bit after that um, song that he got with Lil Stupid, Lil Boosie. So another reason why I say it's Cali and Detroit is because in his Lil Boosie song, he had the piano in there, and that piano was kind of like a fast piano, like how I've heard in plenty of Detroit music. So, But before we get up into the video, one thing I want to tell y'all niggas is the BPM. I mean, I guess you could do 100. I had it in 100, but it was like too fast for the vibe that I was going for. But that's all besides the point. Let's get into the beat. Now, the first instrument that I picked was the delayed piano and purity, and it's what that sound like. So I got two versions of this piano. So we got that one that y'all niggas just heard. We got this one right here where I just shifted it up an octave just for sauce, you know what I'm saying? And this what this sound like. Now I really didn't do too much with the uh, piano. The reason why I picked it out of purity is because um. It kind of already had that built-in reverb, so I really didn't have to do too much with the mixing. But I came up to the wrench, added an LFO, and then I tweaked some of the knobs right here so the velocity would be, you know, just to add a little sauce. Just to add a little sauce. But as far as mixing the piano go, I just added a uh, EQ. I took out some of the lows and some of the highs. And right here, I just took down some of the mids. All right, so now for the next song, I just pulled up uh, X-Band 2, the basic sign pad. I just laid down some chords, you know, just chord variation shit, you know, just to add sauce, I guess. I don't fucking know. And that's basically the two sounds that I'm finna be using for the beat. It's really a basic beat, but as far as the bass go, I didn't use no 808s. On YouTube, I had looked up a West Coast, you know, Cali kit. And it's what I found right here. You know, this Flex and West Coast, you know. And in this kit, this the bass that I'm using, the Detroit bass. So it opened up GMS. GMS is a plugin that come with FL Studio. So you ain't even gotta, you know, search for no extra plugins. But what I did with this sound is I tweaked the resonance a little bit. Did it K and the amount, and I think I tweaked the attack, but other than that, it's really the same shit. Everything that I tweaked though, it was just like a little bit. I didn't really tweak too much, that much, if you get what I'm saying. So this is what the bass sound like right here. simple shit simple shit this is it's real simple i'm just giving y'all niggas the foundation so y'all niggas can add y'all own sauce to it i'm just giving y'all niggas the basic outline and shit the basic is the basic shit that i'm throwing y'all niggas but uh on to the next song so we just got a clap i got two variations of the clap i got this one And it's the second variation of the clap right here. It just got that extra, you feel me, at the end. And what I did was, with the velocity with these four, I just sloped it up so it, you know, come in just to add a little bit more sauce to it. Being that the BPM is so slow, instead of the uh, clap or your snares or whatever, hitting on the three and the seven, like how I usually would, it hit on the two and the four. So here go the kick, the kick follow the bass line too. And this is what that sound like right here. It's 
simple. Same with the hi hat. The hi hat really ain't too crazy. Um, I got two variations of it though. I got this one right here. So with that one, it basically follow the um bass and the kick. And I got this one right here. So now with this hi hat, I chopped it up right here. And with the velocity, I you know I added a little bit of variation to it, so it'll come in and where it stop at. That's where another clap gonna come in. So it's gonna be like, y'all see what I'm talking about? It'll lead up into the clap basically. All right. So after that, we got this song right here. It's just the stump. Y'all hear this everywhere in all type of Cali beats and shit. So after the stump, I just added in a little scratch. Not a scratch, you hear it in Cali beats, but what I most remember it for was like them flight type beats, you feel what I'm saying? That nigga be. Yeah, now coming to the end of the drums, I got an open hat. Simple. So now, this where I added a little bit of Detroit. I, I'm not really sure if they add bills like this in Cali beats. But I went ahead and added a bill where I felt like it needed to be. You know, it's not like full, just, you know, it's just a one hit bill. Just, I found this bill in purity. You know, you go to the normal tubular bill, boom. Easy, simple. I was gonna use a triangle, but I'm um, nah. And last but not least, we got this, uh, I made this song right here in uh, three OSC. It's basically this, blue face song that i heard in i guess it's like a whistle i thought it was a whistle but it's uh square square now i think this song uh may be famous for um i think it's bleed it it's either bleed it or respect my crib and one of those blue face songs but it's this this song right here I got two versions of that, pattern 15 and 16, but y'all gonna hear it all through the beat. It's only, it's, but one thing I did wanna let y'all know is that with just three OSC alone, it's not finna get you that song. So I added Fruity Flangus, you know, and I tweaked it. These are the presets or the settings that I have found out right here. I did all this by ear. So boom, I added that. And then I added Flanger, I really didn't touch this. And then I just turned it down. So yeah, basically that's the whole shit. I done uh, already laid out the beat and everything for you all. So, uh, so just one more thing before I uh, show y'all the beat. I just added a fade in, a fade out effect for the volume, just for that extra, you know, you know. But here go the beat right here.
Alright, so boom, nigga, that was the B right there. Um, it was some some low key, you know what I'm saying? Low key chill Cali type B. But like I said, it was modeled after that uh Lil Boosie. But like I was saying, it was modeled after that uh Lil Boosie type beat that uh Draco had did like three weeks ago. That song was hard as hell. Um the, but as far as the uh drums and shit, the these are the drum kits that I use for this bitch. Um, that West Coast flexing. I just looked it up on YouTube. West Coast drum kit, and I don't know what songs in particular that I used out of this Detroit drum kit by my nigga Javen. Shout out my nigga Javen. This uh, drum kit fire as hell. But like I said, I don't know what songs I use in specific. I think it was like the kick and the clap and shit like that. But um, yeah, my nigga. If y'all niggas enjoyed the video, make sure y'all leave a like, uh, comment what y'all want to see next. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm out.